Hi everyone, Brienne from Pixite here with you today and I have some super exciting, fun news to share with you all. So we got some really cool stuff going on and um, I'm gonna start with um, color state restoration. Now what that means is when you click down on the app, like wherever the pigment logo app is, whether it's up here or in your recent apps down here, all you have to do is press on it and then your four recent, like most recent pictures will come up. And all you have to do is click on the one that you were just coloring and it will open immediately in pigment. So you skip the home screen, you skip having to look for your most recent coloring in your recent work. It's just straight to the point and then you can get back to what you love doing most, which is coloring. Now, there's also a really cool feature that we've added for the widgets. So you can now add pigment as a widget. So that also will help you be able to um, jump into coloring faster. I uh, scrolled down and made a four-way widget here, but if you wanna actually add the full widget, all you have to do is click this little plus sign here, and then you'll see the option to add uh, the, the widget here. So click on the pigment. Uh, go add widget and then there you go. So your most recent colored page will be your icon uh, for the widget. So really cool. Uh, I really love this idea. I think it's fantastic and it just makes it so much easier to get in pigment. Now we're back in pigment just like that. So two really fun fast ways to get back into pigment and to get back into coloring. And then you can also keep an eye on your project when you are not in the app. So it's kind of almost a reminder to color. Now let's get to the most fun, amazing part of this presentation. This is so exciting to share with you guys today. There are new texture brushes in pigment and you can use them both as fills or as brushes and I'll show you what I mean right now. So let's go to your regular brushes and at the top you're going to see brushes and you're going to see textures. All you do is click over onto the textures and look at all the new fun brushes you guys have to play with. It's not just one or two brushes. This is a whole set of brushes for you guys to have fun with to be creative with, and honestly, I'm so excited about this. So let's go and try out Crumpled, maybe. So with the brush setting, now you can just brush, and you can layer this texture, which is really super cool. Like, you could go to a little bit of a letter and you can add, which is so nice because you don't just have to fill it now. Now you can add distressing and and put it in different colors and different ways and layer these, these uh, textures. So you could even go and pick out another texture. Okay, we'll go to floral. So you could even go there and just start layering floral on top of crumpled if you want. So not only did we give you new brushes to play with, which is really super awesome, but we also gave it to you as fills. So you get the exact same set of brushes, but you can easily fill in anything without having to use the brush stroke. If you want a full base and you want it filled right away, it is filled. Oh, I'm so excited to see what you guys do with these brushes because there is the sky is the limit here. I mean, you can really go on and on and on with this. So it's going to be really fun to see what you guys come up with and what's really cool. So now I filled that and now I wanna go back to my brushes. I'm gonna go back to my textures. I can go back to the exact same, darken it up, and it almost spreads kind of like an airbrush. Like, and you can play with the opacity and you can just get that nice look you're going for. Cause I still like to have my areas shaded so for this, I think the best thing that we can do 
is let's just open a blank page and let's go through these brushes. I'm just gonna pick um, a palette. Of, I'll pick the Halloween palette I just made just for fun. And let's look at all these brushes. So we'll do a couple strokes, a couple colors of each, just so you guys can have a gander at it. So this is called aluminum. So you can see as you go, it kind of has like that choppy kind of look, which is really cool. And probably the best way to show you is let's fill, okay? So this is aluminum and you can use it as a fill or a brush, remember, which is the best feature of all. Um, you guys are familiar with this one. This is concrete. So our textures that we had before are still there mixed with the new ones. So crumpled, let's do crumpled. This is the crumpled one. Fabric is also new. Let's fill with fabric. Lighten it up so you could really see um, the texture there. So we got fabric. Let's check out floral. You know what? I'm gonna go to maybe some some a little bit more pastel -y type colors here. So that's floral. Really cool fill. I like that one a lot. But remember, not just the fill, also a brush. This is geo. So I'd use that for the tile floors that I just showed you. Graphite, I'm sure you're all familiar with. That is one that we have had before. I'm just gonna go to the new ones going forward. This is grunge steel. So that's really neat. I really like this for any of the steampunk stuff. Like I could see getting good use out of this one, both brush and fill wise. Well, all of them you're gonna get tons of use out of. This is just gonna really open a lot of doors for creativity. So this is leaves. This one's really cool too. I actually really love this one. I don't think you're gonna hear me say that I don't like any brush because they are all super cool and I think it's always welcome to have new brushes. This one is called Modern. So you can use that as a background. I mean, it's gonna open up doors for adding textures to fabric, to clothing, so many things. It's really, really gonna open up a lot of doors for textures. This one, I absolutely adore. I don't know um, what I'm gonna do with it, but I, I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty special. I just really love this one. It's called Pencil C. And it just almost looks like you sketched it like by hand. I, I really, really, really love that one. Serpentine we had before. Here's shells. So those are shells. So another kind of geometric background. That one's pretty cool. Yeah, and then shells inverted. So basically just does the darker color. It inverts the colors. And Sunflower we've had, Swirl, Waves is new as well. Yeah, that one's cool too. Wavy-er. Okay, so it's a little bit more defined. You can really see the definition there. And then Wood and Wood Panels. So Wood we've had before. Wood Panels is new. And you can mix these both together, the wood and the wood panels, to um, come up with a really cool combination. Like there's like a lot that you could do with these by s skipping over to your brushes. And let's bring up the wood panels. And just, you know, by mixing, you could do a lot of cool effects with this. So those are the new brushes, and it's just so exciting to share this with you guys today. I don't know how many times I said exciting, sorry, but I am really thrilled to be sharing this with you today. I know that this has been long awaited, so just remember that you get them in your brush section, and there's your regular brushes. You just go over to textures, and then there's your textures. All the new ones are mixed in with the ones that were already available in pigment, and then they are also available the same way 
where the fills are. So your fills that aren't textures as much will be right here. And then if you flip over, then you'll have all your textures to play with. So lots to throw at you guys today. Um, if there's anything else that you would like to see in pigment, we always love to hear from you. We love to hear your request because it helps make the app better and it helps make it more enjoyable for the users. So please comment if there's anything that you would like to see. Feel free to share that with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see all upcoming content from Pixite, such as new brushes, there's challenges, and so much more. So don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. This is Brienne from Pixite. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. We'll see you again next time.